Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael, you're watching IDB, and in this video, I am really excited to show you our first ever preview at Apple Intelligence on the iPhone. Apple has just released iOS 18.1 beta, and we are getting our first preview at Apple Intelligence in this release. Let's go ahead, roll the intro, and jump right in. All right, so here is my iPhone 15 Pro Max running iOS 18.1. And the first thing to do after you install this update is go into settings, then click on this new option here called Apple Intelligence and Siri. And then at the top, you're gonna see an option that says join waitlist. The good news is when I joined the waitlist, I was off it in pretty much 10 or 15 minutes. So Apple is just slowly rolling out the option to try out Apple Intelligence because they don't want to overload their servers. So that was the experience for me. Of course, it may be different for all of your guys' iPhones, but for me, I joined the waitlist and I was pretty much able to use Apple Intelligence within 10 or 15 minutes. When you have it turned on here, I just wanna give you a warning that it will not work unless you have your Siri language set to English United States and also your device region has to be set to United States. So Apple Intelligence does not work in China or the European Union. It is supported in all other countries. However, for it to work on your iPhone, you have to have all language and region settings set to the US. The first new thing you're gonna notice when you use Siri on iOS 18.1 is this new animation. You can see it glows around the edge of your iPhone and uh, it really looks a lot better in my opinion than that orb we had at the bottom of the screen. And I think it makes it a little bit easier to use inside of applications because when you're in, let's say Safari for example, when you'd open up Siri, it would kind of block everything at the bottom of your screen. But now as you can see, it just glows around the edge and I think this looks a lot better. And now, unfortunately, because Apple Intelligence is in a very early beta, we are not gonna get any of the really cool features that Apple showed off at their conference in June. We do get a few really cool AI tools. However, we do not get the full suite of Apple Intelligence right now. Those are slowly gonna be rolled out in more betas uh, in the future. I do wanna show you one of the cool new features though. So if we go into notes, we do have a new option called writing tools. So if you go ahead and select some text, you can see that we have a new AI button right here at the bottom. So we have a quick button to proofread and rewrite, but if we click on this Apple Intelligence icon, we have all of our writing tools. So if I wanna do a proofread, I can click on this, and then as you can see, it's just a normal sentence, so it's not gonna recommend any changes. If I wanna change it to a different style, I can select it, then I'll go back into my writing tools. You can see I have friendly, professional, or concise. Let's go ahead and choose professional, and as you can see, it has completely changed all of my text just like that. That is insanely cool. You can just imagine how useful this is gonna be if you're writing an email for business purposes. Uh, this is gonna be fantastic. And I think other companies like Grammarly are pretty much gonna go bankrupt now that Apple has this built in right to the iPhone. And then these writing tools also extend beyond the Notes app. You can actually do this anywhere that you can write text. So here is an example of me being a Karen. If I click on the AI button, you can see I have the option to rewrite this in a professional tone. So with one click, you can see I can change the tone of my message just like that. And then another feature which is enabled in this early beta of Apple Intelligence is that you can simply ask your phone about features. If you don't know how to use a certain feature or you don't know how to find it in settings, you can ask your iPhone about it. How do I send a text message later? Then as you can see, it says you can schedule messages in the send later feature in the messages application. This is a feature that wasn't available in iOS 17. So it's really nice if you are an iPhone user, but you don't know all the features, you can simply describe the feature to Siri and it's going to tell you exactly how to do it. And then there also is another feature that you can try out in Safari if you're reading an article. So I'll just choose this one right here. As soon as it loads, then opens up Reader, you can see that we have an option at the top that says Summarize. If you click on this, it's gonna analyze the entire article in about two seconds, then it's gonna give you a summary right here. And then you can also get Siri to read an article to you if you want as well. So if I go ahead and click on another article, you can simply ask Siri, summarize this article for me. Then it's gonna go ahead and start playing that article. And as you can see at the top, it's also gonna give you a, a time it's gonna to take to read that entire article. So everything I just showed you is pretty much the entire suite of everything that's working in Apple Intelligence right now. It is very bare bones, and I would probably not install this beta if I were you. My phone has been so hot to the touch ever since I installed the beta, 
and my phone is running very slow as well. I don't think this very basic set of AI features is worth putting this beta on your iPhone. Uh, so many of the features that Apple showed off simply do not work in this beta. It's a little bit frustrating, but I assume as we go on and move forward in the beta process, Apple is gonna turn on more and more features. One of the features that I was really looking forward to was the option to simply edit a photo using Siri. So when Apple Intelligence is finally ready for the public, you should be able to open a photo and then tell Siri, make this photo more vibrant. But as you can see, it's, uh, it doesn't understand what I'm saying and it says I can't make this any quieter. So it is definitely in a beta and I'm finding that some features are actually better in iOS 17 Siri than iOS 18. Uh, this probably is the worst beta I've ever had on my iPhone. Apple also said that you're able to request very specific information from within applications and that is not working also. So if I wanted specific weather information, I should be able to ask, show me the wind details for tomorrow. But instead, as you can see, it just gives me the normal weather. So as you can see here, uh, it really isn't working that well in this first ever beta. The only thing uh, that you can try out is the new writing tools. And even with that, half the time when I try to use it, it would tell me that writing tools are not available at this time. And I assume that's because the servers are very busy with everyone like me trying out the new AI tools. So honestly, I would probably stay away unless you have a backup iPhone, but the only iPhones that this works on is the 15 Pro and Pro Max. So who has an extra 15 Pro laying around? So I probably wouldn't recommend installing this beta on your iPhone. And also one more thing I wanna mention before I end the video is Apple was showing the option with Apple Intelligence and Siri to double tap the bottom of the screen to type to Siri. As you can see, it knows that I'm double tapping the bottom of the screen, but it doesn't bring up the option to type. So hopefully in iOS 18.1 beta two, they'll enable that feature. But as of right now, it doesn't work. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Also, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, let me know if you are gonna be brave enough to install the beta. With all that said, if you guys found this video informative or helpful, please drop a like. My name is Michael with IDB. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.